I'm back again. <laughs> it's been two weeks this time. So I am going to show you the vlog of us moving from Buell, Idaho to Pendleton, Oregon. So stay tuned. gosh you guys <laughs> oh sorry about the sun on my face um this has been the week from hell <laughs> but it's almost over john and i've been taking a week to move from buell idaho to pendleton oregon and we're 30 minutes away from pendleton it took us a week um to pack up it was just the two of us and no help from family or friends because we didn't have anyone living near us and in 90, high 90 degree heat, uh, we would have been done two days earlier, but we had to take breaks during the day because it was so hot. And you know, we're not spring chickens. <laughs> and um, so anyway, we thought we were gonna get here by Sunday. It is Monday at almost five o'clock Pacific Standard Time. No more mountain time for us. And um, you can see the sun right here. And so we're very excited, but we're very exhausted. Oh my goodness. And that's why I have not done any YouTube content. I did film a video before we got super busy, but I'll release that sometime next week. And my ears are clogged up too, but my car is full. Let me turn your guys around and I'll show you what John's driving. Okay, John's driving that Pinsky truck. I've been looking at the back of that for uh, five hours. <laughs> we had a five hour drive from Buell, Idaho to Pendleton and now we're almost there. And our two cats are in the cab with John. And uh, they've been doing pretty well. We, we got out of Buell last night at like seven and we were gonna drive to Pendleton but we were exhausted and we did even clean our duplex. We wanted to clean it to get our deposit back, but we were so tired we said, screw it. We'll just we'll forfeit the deposit. But we, it, we left it pretty nice, it wasn't bad. So anyway, we stayed locally in a very nice comfort inn last night. The cats did very well because uh, I'm really glad to know that because for the next three weeks, we're gonna be in a motel until we can secure a rental. So that's our story, you guys. It's been exhausting. This is the first day I've been in makeup with my hair done. Every day has been no makeup, messed up hair, who cares what I look like. Um, it's been an adventure for sure. Um, John and I are like, we're never moving again. But, um, you know, we're gonna be living in this motel. I'm gonna set up my business there and I'll do YouTube videos from there so you guys will kind of see it. It's not luxurious at all. It's the best deal we could get for three weeks. And then we're gonna, like I said, get into a rental and then eventually buy a house. But my family is very eager to see us. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to go out there next weekend or the weekend after but my kids can't wait and my parents can't wait and um, we can't wait and John had to delay his job two days because of this crazy move thank God his bosses are super nice and understanding so he's gonna start his job on Wednesday tomorrow we're gonna relax tonight um, but tomorrow we got to get up early for the, the tenth time. We've been getting up early every day. And um, because we had to work in the morning because it was so hot during the day, we had to start at like five, six in the morning loading up the truck. And then we were dead during the day and the evening because, you know, it's hot. 
anyway, uh, we're going to get to two storage rooms tomorrow. We rented two storage rooms, one's for eBay and one's for personal. And within a month, I paid my last um, payment on our storage unit in Portland, Oregon, which has been there two years. And we're going to get all that stuff over to Pendleton because the rent is way cheaper and it'll be closer to us. So when we get a rental, we can move all our furniture that we have not seen in two years. It was brand new furniture and um, we had only got to enjoy it for like six months and then we sold our place and COVID hit and we, John got laid off and all this craziness happened. But I believe things are happen for a reason and God has always blessed us. So now we're where we need to be in Pendleton, Oregon. And it's about three to four hours from our family and our friends. So we're very, very thankful. Um, I am hoping to get this released in a couple days. We'll get settled into our motel. It's going to be Clutterville until we can get it organized. But I've never lived in a motel for longer than a few days. I mean, I've never lived in a motel, but I mean, this is actually living. Um, so it is what it is. It's fine. We're excited. We're embracing the adventure. And you guys could see me driving. And um, here, look at my crazy car. It's filled to the gills. And the moving van uh, that I just showed you is filled. Yesterday, I needed to get some clothes out of there for the hotel and things started falling so John and I had to rearrange yet again and we were really having a hard time towards the end it was 95 and it was the end of the day and we just had to make that one last push and it was really hard but we did it oh, it feels good that's a good feeling but what's going to be nice is being done um, getting everything to our two storage rooms tomorrow getting everything into the motel, getting our cats settled. And actually, I was able to sleep with the cats last night. We were gonna put them in the bathroom, and I was like, I don't wanna do that. They're, they're enjoying just roaming the motel room, hotel room. So that's what we'll do. We'll just let them roam. And they woke me up once with meowing, but they got over that, and they, they did really well. So we're just blessed to have them. They're a delight to us. So. All right, you guys, just wanted to give you an update. Hope you're doing well. Um, oh my gosh, one thing I will tell you is I've been selling like crazy. I put my store in vacation mode Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. And it is now Monday and I've been getting at least a sale or two every day. I have like 11 items to ship. And I said I'm gonna be on vacation mode through Tuesday. Um, so I'm not going to start shipping until Wednesday. We're going to have quite a bit of things to take to the Pendleton Post Office. And we have to get our P.O. Box or our general delivery set up tomorrow. I tried to do it online, but it didn't work. So, um, and you can't really use the motel address for your mail as far as I know. So we're going to have to get that set up tomorrow. I thought we were going to get today, but we didn't get here in time. See how pretty it is out the window? You guys, look at the pretty trees. We're back in Oregon now. This is where I lived for, oh gosh, 30 years or something. Moved out here from Boise, Idaho in 94. And then John and I moved a year and a half ago to back to Boise. And then we lived uh, two hours from there in Buell, Idaho. And now we're back in Oregon, but we're in Eastern Oregon, which is conservative so we like that and it's it's really pretty out here we just went through Baker City it's adorable if you guys ever get a chance to go to Baker City it's a really cute city unfortunately it's a little too far from my family so we're not gonna live there but we'll visit it's historic historic Baker City so you guys should look that up all right but where we're gonna be living is Pendleton Oregon we're very very excited and John's very excited to start his new job. Uh, Napa Auto Parts is where he's gonna be working. He's gonna be working in the new, brand new store. They're gonna be opening up in August. 
He's going to be working with the people and getting training this week and next week. Oh, John's changing lanes. <laughs> and so, um, and I got to keep on keeping on with my eBay. And we're starting a brand new, exciting life. So I will let you guys in on it, let you know what's going on. But hope you're doing well. God bless you guys. Thank you for watching. I certainly love you and appreciate you. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, don't worry. It won't be a vlog of my adventures to Pendleton very often. It's going to be a back to reselling. And I'm holding my phone. That's why it's a little moving around yeah, a lot. It's like I said, been an adventure. So I will talk to you very soon and stay tuned. Bye. Brought their cat tree here, and that's a good thing because they sleep on it all the time. They're either on the top or in the cylinder. And I've got the microwave and the fridge under there, TV. This is my computer setup. You can see I'm editing this video. My second screen, my printer. I brought in my little table. There was kids playing at the pool. They must have left. But it's so cool. We got to view the pool. John goes in there all the time. I've only been in once. I like it, but I don't like having to like get dried and take a shower after all. <laughs> yeah. There's the highway. Yeah, it's been really nice actually. It's pretty quiet here. Here's Oliver. Sleeping amongst my mess. We got two beds. Sorry, they're a mess, you guys. I'm not going to show you much this is the table we set up with all our food <laughs> this is very basic setup hello hello if you are coming back to watch this video thank you for coming back i've been gone for two weeks if you're new um stay tuned to the end you might some find some interesting content here um it's been a crazy two weeks you guys um i told you i was moving from buell idaho to Pendleton, Oregon, because my lovely husband, John, got a job at Napa Auto Parts in Pendleton, and he was supposed to start last week, but because it was so crazy, he didn't start until this week. And so far, it's going great. They love him, and he loves it. He's He loves the job. <laughs> people, I have my curtain open at the motel, um, and people are walking by. But uh, yeah, we finally made it. It was very tough. As I mentioned in the vlog, us having to move on our own was really hard. But we did it, and we we survived it, <laughs> and we're good. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about what's been going on here um, the past week. We have been here a week now, and um, it's a small room, but it's kind of nice because they've got a shelf up in the corner, and that's where I have all my eBay stuff. And I brought in a table from storage so i showed you on the video you guys that's my whole ebay area and then um you know the rest of the stuff is set up for food and living and yeah it's kind of cluttered we're trying to make it as nice as possible but it's tough when you're living in a i don't know 300 square foot um motel room <laughs> i've never lived in a motel before the longest i've stayed in a motel has been a week in the past um, it's okay. It's very expensive. We need to get out of here soon, but we're booked for three weeks. They won't let us go beyond three weeks because there's a lawsuit pending where a guy lived in a hotel for like a month 
and now there's a big thing about whether it was a resident or not so it used to be 28 days we could stay here which we wanted to book uh, but they said 21 is the most days you could stay uh, at this motel six but i don't know if that's a, a thing that all the motels are adopting or not and we would have to check out and check back in um if we're not ready to rent uh there's a super eight right next door we'll probably just go there we're kind of at motel row we got the hampton in the best western around here holiday inn express um there's a whole bunch of motels hotels here and we just picked the Holiday Inn because it's very expensive to stay in a motel weekly unless they have weekly rates. Where we used to live in near uh, Twin Falls, Idaho, they had a lot of weekly rate hotels, which was like 200 a week or something. And that's really inexpensive. But if you don't have a weekly rate, it, it well, we're paying 500 a week. I mean, that's $2,000 a month. That's quite a bit of money. And it's, I'm, I'm okay with that if we had a big house, but we have this small square footage. The good thing is we're not paying utilities and um, we do get towels and toilet paper, and whatever we need, whatever we want. And we do have a pool and um you know we got good parking and it's been quiet here it's been really nice um i had a little situation today uh we had two storage rooms and there are two different storage locations um because i wasn't able to see the locations i just booked them according to how close they were to the motel the ebay storage is about four miles from the motel the personal storage is about seven miles i mean they're really both super close to the motel uh the storage uh for a personal storage a pendleton mini storage is very nice it's new up to date very easy to get in and out in fact i never see anybody there i've been there several times it's so great to be in this small big town <laughs> there's no i haven't seen any traffic it's really easy to get around we just love it here it's amazing i've been to the post office a few times people are really nice still trying to get my mail set up there um i'm also having mail sent to the motel but i haven't gotten anything yet so that makes me a little nervous i hope i get it soon but um yeah it's kind of weird not having a permanent address i have some mail sent to the motel some to um the post office which is like if you guys don't know if you're moving to a place and you just need a temporary mail address uh most i think all the post offices uh, could set you up with general delivery where you put their address uh for you know your address and then your name and then the mail goes to the post office and whenever during the hours the post office is open you could go and get your mail and you could have packages shipped there too well, so far, no mail has gone there. I couldn't do the forwarding from my home. I usually do it ahead of time, but I did it when we got here and it could take up to a week or longer to get set up. So I haven't got any mail there or the motel. Hopefully I will soon because I'm expecting some things. Uh, anyway, so I went to the personal storage today because I've been going like, I've been jo dropping John off. We only have one car right now. Dropping John off at work and then I go to this two, both storage rooms. Went to the personal storage today just to find some things that I need. And um, I was a dumb dumb. John's told me many times not to do this. I was just playing um, the radio in the car and I turned on the ignition. Well, I turned it so you're supposed to turn. I thought it was one click, but maybe it's two clicks. It's so everything's turned off except for the radio. And I just turned it. I didn't pay attention. And the, my air was going. My radio was going. My everything was on. So I was in storage and it played for maybe 15 minutes and then died. I'm like, oh, no. And I turned the car off and tried to start it. My, of course, my battery's dead. I should have just played music on my phone. I have Amazon Music on my phone. That's usually what I use. I was kicking myself. So don't do this, you guys. Don't kill your battery by just turning on your radio. I don't know how many clicks. It might be a couple of clicks. You want to make sure everything's turned off except for the radio. And I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm just going to use my Amazon Music on my phone because it's so quiet there. I like to have music while I'm searching for stuff. So I called John. Well, of course, he's in LeGrand today at the Napa store in LeGrand, which is an hour from Pendleton. A really cute town if you guys have never been there and you're 
going through there you should check it out it's, we we thought about living there but um it's farther from our family so anyway so i'm stranded i text and call john but he's in Legrand, so he's trying to get he's like call the pendleton mini storage office i go good idea so i and then he says but i'll try and get someone from the pendleton napa store to come out there and jump you and i could and so i called um the office they said oh well we could send someone out there but you need jumper cables i go i do have jumper cables and i'm looking everywhere for them couldn't find them i said well i'll call you back i looked in storage i go they have to be in storage because we brought them looking looking and i called her back she goes well i can't help you with that jumper cables and I'm like, oh no, no, and it's hot. It was like 9.30, but um, it was already getting hot. We've had a lot of 100 degree days. And um, I'm like, I just wanna go home and get in my air conditioned place <laughs> with food. I was getting hungry too, I hadn't had breakfast yet. So um, anyway, so I, I, I called her back and I told John, forget it, don't try and find a Napa guy. And um, they came and jumped my car. And at first it didn't start. But then it did so thank god and then the other thing that happened was our internet went out at our motel for a day and a half i thought that was crazy and we kept talking to them and they finally explained they kept saying i don't know when it's going to be on they finally explained that they changed carriers and the old carriers just took all their wiring and i guess they disrupted the internet and it took them a while to get these current these carriers out back to fix it so they finally told us so oh, they're coming at nine today so i didn't have internet for a day and a half but i do now thank god i couldn't do a video because i had no internet and also i wanted to let you guys know something i if you don't have internet but you're selling on ebay and you need to sell some things and you need to ship some things i'll tell you what to do you could do um you get on your phone and you just list on your phone. Now, I have listed on my phone several times, but I always get on my computer and clean up the listings because the font is different. There's all kinds of different fonts for some reason. And everything doesn't show up like it does on the computer. So I always have to double check my listing. Um, but at least I got a listing up there. I did sell one thing, a purse I just listed, but they haven't paid me yet. I hope they do. Um, so at least I'm getting listings out there. So I listed some things on my phone and then eBay has had this thing for a while, but it was actually perfect timing. They say, don't have a printer, use a code. So what they do is they email you a code and you um, take it to the post office and you have them scan it and they'll print out a label for you. And I did this yesterday, I had three packages to go out. So I um, said, you know, I want to do a label and they emailed me the label and then I wrote on the package what it is like shirt, cap, whatever. So I know when I'm at the post office, I can match their label with the correct package. So that worked great. I did the yesterday. The only bad thing is you have to go into the post office and, you know, see an actual person on the counter. But Pendleton Post Office, it's never crowded. It's awesome. Just had to wait for one person. No big deal. I love it. This is, I don't know, it's like 17,000 people and there's only one post office and it's never crowded. Nothing's ever crowded here. It's amazing. I love it. All right, so that's what I did. So if you guys run into an issue where you don't have a printer, you don't have internet, you could get on your phone and print out, well, you're not printing a label, you're just saying you want a code. They'll email you the code, take it to the post office. Post office will slap a label on it. At least you can get your packages out and at least you'll be able to get some listings done on your phone. So I'm very thankful for that because when we lived in Buell, a couple of times the internet went out and I needed to work. So I just did listings on my phone. So I'm very thankful to have that. You know, there are people who work from home and need internet and they can't work from their phone. So I'm very, very happy we could do that. So I wanted to let you guys know that in case you have that issue, very thankful that I could still work. And I've been taking pictures in my motel room on the bed if it's just an item, like I'm selling this aquarium pump. I just took pictures. I just lay down, well, there's already a blanket on the bed, but I just put like a beige backdrop or a gray backdrop and I just take pictures and it's been working great. And let me show you guys this. See on the wall there, I just got one of those command hooks 
and I put a hanger and that's where I hang up my clothes and take pictures. And want to let you know that, well, I did mention this in my vlog that you'll see in a little bit, that even though I turned my store off for like four or five days, I still kept getting sales. The funny thing is once I got back and I was ready to list again, um, the sales kind of dried up for a little bit, but when I started listing again, I started getting more sales. And I've only been listing about three a day. Just, it's tough. Um, you know, you're in a motel room and it's tough to get motivated. And I've been kind of addicted to these shows. Um, I found this show on Netflix called Made, and it's with Andy McDowell and her real life daughter. And it's really, really good, you guys. I recommend it. I was addicted to the series. It was one of these this poor girl she never got a break one thing after another kept happening to her um and it was kind of like a depressing show but i was addicted to it i couldn't stop watching and then the very end things all worked out for her so it was just a really great story and i've been watching a lot of really good netflix shows um this one called anatomy of a scandal and there are a bunch of shows by uh, the author Harbin, Harlan Corbins, I think his name is. He, I've read one of his books. He, he does kind of like murder mystery kind of books, and they're really good. And I've watched about three of those. Those are on Netflix, too. They adapted his books to film. And, um, yeah, that's all I can think of right now. But anyway, it's so hard when you're addicted to a show. Yes, I've been selling less on eBay. but And today I'm making the video, but I'm going to get listings done. I'm so happy to be back on my computer that I don't have to list for my phone. But the nice thing about listing your phone, you could just kind of sit and be cozy. <laughs> you don't just sit at a desk. Um, but, you know, I'd much rather have the computer um and the other thing i wanted to mention you guys could probably tell you know i've gained weight it's it's been hard i was on bright lines for a while and then i just got really tired of the diet and then just i haven't dieting for about three months i mean what i was on the diet but it wasn't strict and while we were packing up, I was eating junk like donuts and Pop-Tarts and stuff like in the morning. But I thought, you know, I'll burn that off with moving. Well, you know, you still gotta, you still gotta eat well. And then, you know, then we've been in motel rooms and I'm, John was with me for a while and it was really nice. We hung out together, but now he's back to work. So and I like it. I'm a very independent person. I don't mind being alone, but it's just like, I'm here in a motel room and it, it's hard not to eat. I've been trying to do better. So um, I actually brought some food from storage. So I've been eating like oatmeal in the morning and um, cream of wheat, that kind of thing. So yeah, but we've been snacking a little bit. You know, I don't, I go, I'm so glad you love me overweight or not. <laughs> and he goes, of course, you're my wife. <laughs> and I love that. It's so wonderful having a man that loves you no matter what. <laughs> Even though if I look in the mirror and going, oh my gosh, I don't love myself right now. I do. It's just I don't love my body. But it's, you know, I kind of put this out there, you guys, because it's it's a struggle that a lot of people go through. And it's, you know, I was on that diet for eight months and I was really good, pretty strict about it. Lost a bunch of, well, I don't lose a bunch of weight, maybe 25 pounds. And I had uh, been on keto previous to that a couple of years ago. And I had lost like 30 pounds. So I was down 50, but you know, I haven't weighed myself. I don't want to know, but um, you know, probably that my face looks heavier. You know, fortunately I've got this little waddled chin. That's, that's hereditary. Um, when I'm thin, you can't really see it. I have a little bit of it, but can't really see it. So yeah, fortunately for me, unfortunately for me, my weight is shown in my face a lot more than other people. And, um, but I'm so thankful to have a husband and a family and friends who love me no matter what. It's so wonderful to be loved unconditionally. But I will be getting back to on the diet. I think it's probably gonna be once we move out of here and we get our own place. And then I'll get back to being strict on that. But, you know, I bring up these things, you guys, because you probably could relate. And I just realized my lighting is not great. I probably should have opened my window more kind of some dark shadows. I don't have my light on that I usually have on. So I uh, wonder if this would help. That help? Man, I should have had on that on the whole time. <laughs> Just really, there's a lot of good lighting in here. 
So anyway, you guys, I'm back. Um, I'm hoping I could do a video at least once a week. You know, we're going to be moving in a couple weeks to a rental and we'll get settled into Pendleton. But, um, you know, I have my wonderful husband and we hang out in the evenings together. It's really a blessing. And, you know, we got a pool, we got a nice place. It's quiet, it's, everyone's very nice here. We're just so, so thankful. So I hope I didn't lose viewers. Um, I still have all my subscribers, thank God. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed and you want to, you guys, I, I am a reseller and that's what I'm gonna be talking about, reselling. Uh, but you know, when things happen in your life, you want to talk about that too. So, you know, I move, so that's been my focus, but yeah, I, I want to talk about reselling and I still want to help you guys be better resellers. So I hope you like this content. I hope you'll keep watching uh, the content on my channel. I really hope you will subscribe. If you haven't subscribed that you will like, give me a like, a thumbs up and um, share this content if there's people you think would be interested in this. I am I am fighting for every viewer, every subscriber. <laughs> I really enjoy doing these videos and I really want to help you guys. So love you so much, so thankful for you. I hope you're having an awesome life and an awesome day and I will see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>